Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I wanted to do a short one actually. This is mostly focusing on a in particular boss fight uh, that I've been struggling with during the last stream. So I, I finally managed to beat him so I didn't, I didn't really have time to do a stream today just to kind of move forward, things up forward. Pretty much since this boss fight took the majority of the time uh, doing so, there was way more attempts than than what you see here in this video. But like at least I managed to heal that, cut, uh, get the cutscene and all that stuff. And uh... Kind of at least, at least have everything ready. I got a new weapon for us to use too down the line, pretty much. Um, anyways, this should pretty much be it. Uh, since I'm pretty sure I reset everything, so we should be good. This will be our first attempt. I didn't do pretty bad, I'd say, pretty much on it. Um, uh, trick to this boss fight. Um, you just want to charge a lot. Like your heavy attack has to charge up, and you gotta run around a lot, pretty much, because this guy doesn't like to get uh get hit with combos basically. Mobilization is fine, I'd say, but at the same time he'll be coming aggressive twice, maybe three times, depending on how much damage output you're doing. So you want to basically just be smashing him basically with the uh, first stance basically. Smash him. And just continue wailing at him, regardless. Just keep on wailing at him. This guy was tough though, I'd say. He was very tough. So what you do is like, you would nail him with a already heavy attack, charge heavy, then just have to just move around and just avoid, keep an eye on him basically. He won't do much, he's not uh, super overly uh, top aggressive, at least at that point. So it shouldn't be so bad. I was trying to build up some more. Uh, Skill points basically out of it. And just like get things done. At least on the, that to actually charge up another heavy attack is uh, do another smash heavy attack. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much how uh, I ended up doing it pretty much. So and I'm just trying to avoid get uh getting hit here and just Basically, just baiting it. Like I'm, I'm just I'm, like during this fight, I was just so like I'm, I'm so like cautious on like how this is gonna play out. Like pretty much, like it, it's still something that is just very hard to do. Like I'm trying to get a perfect dodge uh, on that. No, <laughs> this is just happening. Just not too good. So this is the phase of the uh, like, basically. He's most dangerous in this phase, basically, in that, like, particular point. So you get into a fraction of his health, or half health, depending, and he'll start the... start going into... Uh, overdrive mode. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try this one more time, basically. So, basically, when he's in that overdrive mode, you ain't touching them. You just gotta avoid getting hit. And I was trying absolutely just to not have to waste a transformation, a uh, a uh, spell, basically, just to kind of like get things going a little bit better. Charge, wait for it to like charge up one hit. So the very first armor set in the game, it, this it is it's actually once you level it up from the uh, little uh, uh, camp spot, basically the uh, uh, spot is basically when you go over there. <laughs> oh, man. But anyways, when you go to there, you upgrade the armor set, and then you upgrade the first one basically to a certain period of time just to have this done. I know there's other ways too. There's the legendary armor set you get from defeating Chapter Three's boss fight. Um, also, I mean, believe you unlock it, the other pieces from defeating one of the secret boss fights you have to basically complete uh, during chapter 1, chapter 2, and you have to do the secret, uh, two secret fights basically for that. Once you do that, you have to fight the trees and other things in the third chapter basically, before you fight the dragon th uh, chick. So basically, the, uh, in order to unlock uh, the last uh, 
a uh, few pieces to craft it basically. I didn't realize that's the way at the base. I ended up doing the other way, the much more interesting way. I could have probably been stuck on this fight longer though, probably, so who knows, pretty much, so. That's a different boss, I guess, so. I just gotta keep an, uh, an idea on how to. So there we go, we have a lot of damage basically. He, the last time he did his, uh, when I did that much damage around the uh, he did his, uh, super annoying, uh, ability. Yeah, that's what I was doing for this thing here. Yeah, points. I got stuck here, this is where I got stuck. I wanted to heal. I ended up healing technically, but I, it wasn't enough to heal full, enough to avoid getting hit like that. No, well, literally my bad. My my worst one attempt, basically. Out of all the times from that the stream, probably that one would be the worst one. But since I figured it out, this is where uh, things kind of kind of went my way. At least there's there was a point where I literally thought, okay, I messed up badly there, and I thought we we're gonna have to take longer and all that stuff. But luckily now it's... Here we go. So it charge this up again. So this is what I ended up doing. There was a bit of one mistake here that technically could have cost me. And... That would be during the final stages of the fight, pretty much. Uh, but I, uh, got, got, I got very lucky for what I ended up doing, basically. So the goal is to just, just keep on wheeling him with heavies, like this when you can, pretty much. And then going with that, there we go. I mean I'm just thinking about like, oh my god, he's like he that trick again, no, he's not gonna do that trick. He's gonna like speed up and go faster. <laughs> Good shot, there we go. And now that's his pattern. No way you want to see how this can play out. <laughs> probably being the team with like, probably very much the team with the team with the team with the That must game to peel up again. You need to get lucky there. That's okay. This pattern is worse. I got stuck. I don't want to get out fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's alright though. There's the end of charm, right? <laughs> alright, here we go. Uh, charge us up again. So this strategy is working. Just like I ain't pulling it off that well. I always miss that first thing. I always misjudge it. Like I, I don't. I, it's just. Uh, it's alright though. Some bosses are gonna uh, not charge for Some of the bosses are not gonna do that. Oh, man, I don't know. 
damage to trigger out his second stage combination to that horrendous combo. His weapon does so much damage though. Anyway, like, anyway, it's like for me, like even though I got the weapon now, I, I don't think I can do damage. He's out of that. Basically, you to keep uh, some out oh, basically. Okay, we're good. 
decently good spot. Alright, let's just get away from these charge. Get to avoid them. Oh man, like, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get there. Get there. <laughs> now I get to his name at least. Okay. Now we do it, we're invisible. Use the phones. Let's just build up so many points. Now here's the thing I missed up here actually. Uh, I forgot that we need the other ability to even even if the board is out of the way. Do not need it. need to be honest, I think this is what saved me because the phone's about to be here. Yeah. Uh, Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys all on the next one. Our sire's head was hung when he defied this celestial court. We dreaded the Jade Emperor's wrath and pleaded with Master Yuan to help us abscond from our waters. But he warned us we might hide for a time, but not forever. Claim our lives. He had more to say. Sires to sons, we are destined to die for the righteous cause. I trust him, yet I won't obey. May your path not once more be a mere thread in their grand design.